Our other top story at 11, those fluffy cottonwood seeds you see floating through the air prove difficult for the Ann Arbor Fire Department. In spots, they look like snow, practically. The seeds made a house fire go from bad to worse. Jacqueline Francis there live with what the fire department is saying about a, a most unusual case, Jacqueline. Devin, unusual is right. They say they've never really seen anything quite like it. This house behind me caught fire last week, and while they still don't know what caused the fire, they do know why it spread throughout the neighborhood. This is what's left of an Ann Arbor home that went up in flames last week. A heavy fire showing from the roof and the front on the front of the house. Fire crews were quick to respond. Engine 4 crew uh, did a fantastic job. They hit, did a quick hit on the fire. As they went in to make sure no one was inside, outside the fire was spreading. Then we realized that there were fires in the backyard and we didn't understand why. It was really spreading. Next door, the neighbor's toys went up in flames. It moved through the neighborhood in, in different areas. And two doors down, the backyard caught fire and so did the front bush. Once we got the fire out, we kind of investigated, started looking, researching a little bit more. It turns out cotton, or the seeds from cottonwood trees, was to blame. 27 years on the job, I've never seen a cotton the amount that was on fire, kind of overwhelming at one point trying to figure out what was causing this fire, um, the way that they spread through the neighborhood. Given the amount of cotton in the area and the dry spell we're having, fire officials say it could have been a whole lot worse. The wind picked up, you might see a, a neighborhood problem. There's going to be a lot more fire trucks than just the ones we had there. No one was home when the fire happened. That's the good news. There were some neighbors around and a few of them actually jumped into action and helped put out those fire spots using garden hoses. Reporting live in Ann Arbor, Jacqueline Francis, Local 4. That's really unreal. All right, Jacqueline.